Hello, good evening, I am Joseph Filmography, and if you're coming here from the last video, welcome back! If you're new, welcome in, I hope you like Zelda, because otherwise you're gonna be very bored today. Brief recap, just to make sure we're all on the same page. A couple weeks ago, I revealed my big project for the year, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Reborn. This is an effort to bring the score of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask up to a modern standard, and revitalize and reimagine it in parts. My core philosophy with this project has been to maintain 150% accuracy to the source material, meaning everything that was in the original game is remade as it was, rearranged as it was, but I am allowed to add to it, give extended intros or outros or little bridge parts or whatever. And I talked in the last video about how my big goal was to release the soundtrack in album form on my Bandcamp page, and also have the score be fully playable and implemented into both the 3DS and Nintendo 64 versions of the game. There have been some developments on that, which I'll touch on in a minute, but to give you the short version of what's going on, there are currently four weeks, well really five, but there's four weekends including right now, leading up to release of the final project. Coincidentally, there are four major areas in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, so each weekend until release I'll be doing a sort of update video showing you my progress and where I'm at, and giving us all a very realistic picture of what the final product is going to look like. That way, as things change with the project, you can stay informed and actually know what you're going to be getting yourself into when you download this thing. When I say it like that, I realize now it makes it sound like I'm giving you malware, which I promise I'm not doing. Doing. Or am I? So this week we'll be mostly focusing on the swamp area, next week we'll be focusing on the mountain, then the ocean, and then the canyon, and then the full thing will be released and you can all play it. Now! First things first, I do have some unfortunate updates. I talked in the last video about how I had a lot of really cool ideas for things I wanted to do, and I had no idea how to do them myself, so I reached out to the modding communities for the game for some help and assistance in you know, getting me to achieve this goal. And I learned very quickly that a lot of the stuff I wanted to do is not going to be possible to implement into the game. First things first, unfortunately, I cannot put my music in the Nintendo 64 version of this game. What it essentially boils down to is that the Nintendo 64 version uses a much more simplistic audio system that my music is literally just too advanced to work with, I guess. That makes it sound a lot more fancy than it actually is, but that's basically what's going on. Now, the good news is, there are efforts underway to decompile Majora's Mask, and once those are done, we can sort of reverse engineer the audio system, and I should be able to implement my music into the game. And that should be happening in the relatively near future. Definitely sometime 2024, I would wager before spring before summer, rather. So while the Nintendo 64 version will not have support at release, it's almost guaranteed that I'll be able to implement this later on down the line. Now the next part is the 3DS version of the game, and the good news is, for the most part, we are clear. Just about all of the music from this game I will be able to replace with my own versions of that music. But some of my ambitions are not going to be possible at this time. I had talked about how I wanted to introduce some new adaptive elements to the soundtrack, and unfortunately, we're just not capable of doing that yet. This might be something that can get figured out in the future, and I'm definitely interested in looking into it and seeing what I can explore and uncover, but I know really, you know, nothing about game modding, so I'm not gonna be getting anywhere anytime soon. What this means is that while we will have the soundtrack for the game as it was intact, I'm not going to be able to create extra variations of the boss themes, or extra variations of the combat themes, some of those more adaptive ideas I had thought of. And the final thing is there's a couple songs in Majora's Mask 3D that I just cannot replace. Some of the shop and minigame music has a mono filter over it so that it'll sound like it's coming over a radio, and any songs with that filter 
I can't really touch. I don't know why, but when I try putting my version of the music into the game, it sounds really glitchy and bad. So hopefully this is going to be a challenge I'll be able to overcome in the future. Again, this is something I'll be looking into, but at release, these songs are not going to be modified. They'll just be the original versions. Now, I do have one final bit of information I should share with you before we hop into some gameplay previews. I want to keep you all very informed on the actual status of this project, and I want to be very honest with how I'm actually doing with it, because I won't lie, school is busy, and I'm not quite as far along as I would like to be. I have all of Disc 1 and most of Disc 2 implemented into the game and finished, it is ready to be released on the album, but... I currently don't have discs 3, 4, or 5 finished, not even on the compositional level, and none of that stuff is in the game yet. The good news is, I can guarantee I will have the entire album finished by December 8th. And implementation doesn't take too terribly long. I was able to get all of disc 1 and most of disc 2 implemented just in the past week, so I should still be on track to get all of this done, but in case I don't, I just want to go on and let you know now for the sake of managing expectations that what I may end up doing is releasing on December 8th the entire album and then version 1.0 of the actual game mod that has discs 1, 2, and probably 3 implemented into the game and then I'll release a version 1.1 update that'll have discs 4 and 5 fully implemented into the game. So to translate that into English, by December 8th, I might not have everything set up in the game and I may have to update the game version later, but the album will be done. Now, in the last video I talked a lot about collaboration and how important that's going to be for this project. And that still rings true today. If you are in the modding community and you would like to help with implementation, or if you're an artist and you would like to make some art pieces to go with this album, please send me a note. I'll have my Instagram and Twitter, whatever it's called, linked in the description of this video. And if you shoot me a message, uh, I can respond and we can start talking and see how you can help. Or if you want to get more directly involved with this project, I do have some news to share, but that's going to be at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around until the end if you want to see how else you can help out, and even how you can get your hands on this thing early and be a beta tester on the project. For now, let's get into some gameplay.
Hmm? <laughs> 
So I hope you enjoyed getting a bit of a closer look at the thing. I hope it was good. I'm filming this before I've even done the previews, so I honestly have no idea how it turned out. Now the one final thing I wanted to tell you about is that I have, as of recently, opened up a Patreon. And if you'd like to get very hands-on with this project, that's where you're gonna find all of that stuff. I only have one tier right now, it's five bucks a month. I might add more later if there's interest in it, but for now I think that's fine. But if you're interested in subscribing to this thing, here's what you get. Some of the music, I am kind of undecided on what direction I want to take it. Whether I want to use this instrument or that instrument, put in this element or that element, you get what I'm saying. And I'll be asking my patrons for help and feedback on all of these decisions on that page. So you'll get to give feedback on the project and have a direct role in influencing how the final product turns out. And I'll have you all listed as like collaborators or advisors or something on the finished product. On top of this, I'm very much going to need beta testers to help out and make sure all of my stuff is functioning in-game, because being on Honest, I just don't have time to test it all myself. So if you want to get your hands on something tangible a little bit early, sign up there and I'll be posting new versions of the mod every week as I release these updates and you can play the game with some of my music implemented in it. By the last one, most of the stuff is going to be in the game. So, you'll essentially get to play the entire thing early. And of course, you'll be credited in all of my videos. As of right now, my only patron is Nigel. So, thank you Nigel, you're a real one, never stop being awesome. And finally, I just wanted to give a massive thank you to all of you for being as excited and enthusiastic as you have been about this entire project. I was not expecting the last video to generate as much interest as it did, and I was freaking thrilled to see all of you guys being as invested in the thing as I am. This is an idea that's meant a lot to me for years, and I was hoping there would be other people who were as interested in this as I was, and lo and behold, here you are. So I just wanted to say thank you for coming by and showing your support, 
and I hope you'll continue to be interested and look forward to the final release on December 8th. But that's about all I've got for now, so I shall see you next weekend. Have a good one.